you guys hello and happy wednesday um today's video is going to be basically an updated gym split i posted one of these a while ago but my split has changed i'm pretty sure my split changes probably every month but this is my split so i'm going to be going over what i do during that day um the movements that i've been loving to do because sometimes they generally will sometimes change but the concepts are usually exactly the same so let's get on to this video so to start off my glute and hamstring day after I do my dynamic warm up, I like to go and do some squats. So normally I'll start off with just a bar, but today I decided to pick up a couple of weights and start on that. I've been really focusing on my form here and I'm just doing three sets of eight reps just so then I can get some higher weight. Next, I'm going in with some hip thrusts. I was so proud of myself because I was able to actually go up in weight here. So I was able to put 25 pounds on each side. And just like before, I'm doing eight reps of three sets just to uh, get myself going, if you know what I mean. And with these, you really want to focus on pushing through your heels just so then you're focusing and getting into those glutes. So here, now I'm just picking up 30 pound barbell and I'm just doing some Romanian deadlifts with these you really want to focus on sticking your butt out almost like you're trying to hit a wall um, and again just like all my other sets I like to do them in sets of three with eight reps these I could have easily gone up in weight but I decided against it <music> Okay guys, so for day two, I like to do my chest, triceps, and shoulders. I like to do this day after a leg day just because my legs are usually like super dead by the time that I go to do another workout. And also I find that this workout as well can be really hard on my body. So sometimes I will just put it at the beginning of the week so then I have the rest of the week to recover. So to start off my chat triple threat day, I like to go in and start off with the cable machine. And here I'm just doing some um, pec flies. I like to do these on the cable machine just because it uh, forces me to stabilize those muscles and it'll eventually give me a better uh, workout overall. So this workout, I like to use a lot of cable. So here I'm just doing some more um, cable pull downs um, or tricep extensions. And I really like to do these and just focus on pull, squeezing those triceps. And I did eight of those in three sets. Next, I am just doing some skull crushers. Here, I probably should have lightened up the weight. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of difficulty but ideally what you wanna do is keep your elbows in the same position and just essentially extend um, your arms. And again, I did three sets of eight for these as well. Now getting into some chest press, I'm just focusing on making sure my arms don't go below 90 degrees here. And I am just pushing up. I did like all my other sets. I really love the three sets of eight rule. It just works really well for me. And here I'm just doing some shoulder press. I really like to isolate some of the times and do um, single arms after I do these. But it, today it looks like I was having a little bit of difficulty because it was one of the few days back um, going as hard as I did. So it was a bit difficult to do this one. Okay guys, so... The triple threat workout is done. It absolutely killed me. I find that those workouts don't typically like, like I don't, I just find that I don't get the same like calorie count done. I don't get the same, I don't like, I don't sweat during them either. So I think I'm going to have to reassess it. But typically, as you saw, I like to kind of like, I mainly I use the cable machines because those are like my go-tos for any upper body. I find that they work the absolute best, but um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was a good workout, but, um, it was, I felt like I could have gone a little bit harder for it, but it is what it is. My, uh, chest is 
shaking right now and my arms and shoulders are shaking as I'm trying to hold up my phone to film. So I'm going to go home, get ready for class. Hey guys, so on day three, um, this is usually on a Wednesday and on Wednesdays I'm actually doing training and I train my mom and typically on Wednesdays are our hit or our Tabata day. So typically I won't work out during the day this day. I'll usually try to participate in doing the workout with her and basically doing that. So for this day in particular, I have, let me see, I'll probably, I'll pull up what her training looks like. So then you guys can see as well. But this day in particular, we focused on doing three sets of like any core movements. So basically it was like a core Tabata, which basically means that you're doing um, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So you're going hard as hard as you can for that 20 seconds. And then you get that 10 second break. And ideally these roughly go for about eight rounds, but my mom and hasn't been doing a whole lot of workouts recently. So we're just gonna grow and build. And same with myself, I'm not a huge cardio or hit girl. I prefer weightlifting, powerlifting, that kind of thing. I prefer to stay away from cardio if I can, but cardio is a necessity in the world. So that is my... This ended up being a Thursday and this ended up being one of my rest days. Um, I it looks like I bumped it because I was having Usually I was tired, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I probably stayed up too late and the workout just didn't end up. And on Thursdays, I also work <clears throat> until 10 p.m. at night. So I do four till 10 shift um, at my work. And sometimes getting a workout in at 5.30 is kind of difficult when you have to stay up till 10 p.m. that night. So this, just, this day ended up being a rest day. So now this one, is for back and biceps. So day five is typically my back and biceps day. I like to kind of have a couple of days in between my or my chest and triceps and my back and bi or back and biceps, um, just because sometimes they can be really tough on my upper body. So I like to kind of have a little bit of a break in between. But on this day, I was at my co-op placement, and you guys will see on Sunday because I'm going to be posting a come to my co-op with me. Um, I don't really, I couldn't really film because I'm in the gym at my co-op and I feel a little bit uncomfortable breaking out my tripod in that like center, but, um, I'm going to try and get some clips of it for you on Sunday. But basically, again, I will show you some of the movements that I like to do for my back and biceps day because it's my favorite day next to glutes. So I will show you guys that. <laughs> this is usually on Friday so this week because it was a little bit jumbled so this ended up being my Saturday workout um, and this was my glute and quad day glute and quad day is killer I love it I love breaking up my leg days if you've noticed I have a glute and hamstring day and a glute and quad day I just find that I'm better I'm able to better um, focus on muscle groups so in this case I will focus more on my quads and doing things like leg extensions, um, elevated squats, Bulgarian split squats, stuff like that, that would activate more my quad versus my hamstring or something. So it, I like to do it that way and break it up into groups in that sense. So then I can better specify my workout. So to start off my quad day, I'm just starting off with some uh, single leg deadlifts. These are really awesome. They really are really good at isolating that glute muscle. Just be careful because they can be a little bit um, issue with balance. But here I just did three sets of eight like I always do. After I do those, I went in and did some Bulgarian split squats on the Smith machine. I like to do it on these little boxes. I find that it, I get a better range of motion and I'm able to get lower um, in the squat, but these are absolutely dyno and killer. So I did eight of these for three sets as well. And if there's one 
exercise that will be repeated it is most definitely the RDL. I really do love a good dumbbell RDL and here I'm just focusing on form, hence why I have a bit of a lower weight, but I'm just focusing again on pushing my booty back as if it were trying to hit a wall and I'm just doing eight of these, um, sorry, I think I did 15 of these for three sets. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of going through my workout split. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, please comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, and also if you guys are interested in any personal training or anything like that, make sure to check out my social media. I like to post my workouts there and any like fun little tips and tricks. And then also I have been doing a doing TikTok lately. So if you want to come and do some get ready with me's, that is where you can find those. But until next time, I will see you on Sunday. Have a great day. I love you all. Please subscribe and leave a comment and a like. I love to talk to you guys and I love to see your comments.